Hey, what's going on, guys? This is Vortex Wave, and today I'm going to show you how to get mods on any Steam game um, using Nexus mods. Now, the best way to do this is going to be my way. So, don't use like Vortex Mod Manager, don't download none of that. Um, if you guys know what I'm talking about, don't use Vortex Mod Manager, it's so bad. I tried to use it cause a whole bunch of problems i had to uninstall the game i was going to use and then reinstall it to fix it really big issues with that i don't even, i don't even want to get into that that was that was that was torture um so no what you're going to do is you're going to go to nexus mods i'll put it uh, i'll put a link in the description it's right here nexus mods you're going to create an account with nexus then you're going to choose the game that you want there's literally a whole bunch um uh, i'll go ahead and do blade and sorcery because it's I don't know, it's a game I've been playing lately, obviously. Um, Blade and Sorcery. And then you're going to choose a mod that you want. Alright, now that we're here in mods, I'm going to go ahead and press search and press update 11 for Blade and Sorcery. Make sure you get the right... Um, make sure you get the right update for your game, obviously. Because if you use Nexus Mods and you're trying to download a, a mod for an old update, it won't work. So make sure your game is updated to what the mod you want it to be, or vice versa. Alright, I was going through here, and I finally found a mod that I might as well just go ahead and get. Pirate stuff right here. Again, make sure it is your game's update. Um, and then once you got it, you're going to go down, scroll down to it, and then you're going to find the download thing to it. It's usually, it's usually like right here. Yeah, so all, all you gotta do is just hit files, and then um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna press manually download. Mod manager is terrible. Don't ever do that. Don't ever do that. Uh, so yeah, you're gonna go here manually download it, and then press slow download. Obviously, you can buy premium if you wanted to, uh, but I like free stuff. So let's go slow download. And then it'll start your download in about five seconds, and then you should see it here. Yep, and yeah, it's gonna it's gonna take a second because uh, obviously it's a slow download. So I will be right with you whenever this is done. In the meantime, while this is downloading, I would recommend you um, downloading this software. The reason why it is taking a large amount of time is because I'm using WinRAR. I will put down a link in the description for this as well. Uh, all you're going to do is, is download this. The reason why you're going to need WinRAR is to extract files. And we'll get into extracting and what have you later on whenever you need it. Pretty sure this is the one I used. Um, actually, I know it is the one I used. So, just hit download. It's as easy as that. I've already done it, so I don't need to do it again. Um, but yeah, I would do this in the meantime as that is downloading. Just download two things at once probably take longer but it is all right so now the both the downloads are done for winrar stuff and or i mean winrar and pirate stuff or whatever your mod is going to be when those are both done you're just going to open it up in the folder and then it should look something like this and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to the game that you um downloaded the mod for you're going to right click on it, you're going to go down to manage, press browse local files. After you click on it, it will show up in your files right here. And then you got this. So just click blade and sorcery data, go down to streaming and assist, and then go to your mods folder. It has to be in your mods folder, it can't be in any other folder, it has to be in your mods. And then you'll see the rest of your mods. Or if you don't have any mods, then you'll just have this little text. And it's just saying this is where you would put your mods and all that. Okay. So now go back to your WinRAR. The way that you have to do is, you have to go to Add. And it should be the very first thing that comes up. Because um, it's the last one today. So then you can move it out, move onto Desktop. Just simply, just drag it over. You can get off of all of that stuff. And then you're just going to right click on it, go all the way down to WinRAR, 
and then go over to extract here after that's done it's going to extract you can delete this and then you're going to take this extracted folder and you're just going to drag it into your mods it's that easy and now it's in your game it's in your mods and i'm going to go ahead and show you the mod inside of blade and sorcery all right guys So you can see this little stuff right here, we have a flint mod. 